This is Ian Lamont, founder of In 30 Minutes Guides. Today, a neat hack to embed a font in a PDF using Adobe Acrobat Pro for Mac. Let's get started. So this usually is kind of a complicated process, the way that Adobe recommends you do it, but I found a much easier way to do it, and I think uh, you, you might like this. So this is Adobe Acrobat Pro. This is not the standard version of Adobe Reader. It's the Pro version. I pay a subscription fee. I think it's like uh, between $10 and $20 per month. This is what you need to do to embed a font in a very easy and quick way. First of all, you have to understand that the PDF needs to be opened in Adobe Acrobat Pro, not in Mac Preview. Once you have it open, like you do now, just check the fonts that are already there. Make sure that you know you have what you need, but if you need something else, I'm gonna show you how to add it. So these are the embedded fonts, various flavors of Arial, as well as Zap Ding Dingbats. Note there is no other font in there. You cannot embed the font from this particular window. This is, this is my little hack that I discover. I use it for my business. Basically what you need to do, you need to go to edit a PDF. So this requires the pro version of the software of Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat, not the free reader version. Then what you're gonna do, you're going to add text. So it says add content on the left, click text, and then make sure that here where it says the, uh, the font style, select the font that you want to embed. Now, the font should be something that you have the legal ability to embed. So I'm using a font called Lato or Lato, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. And I use it for my business. So this is something that I have the rights to use. So I'm gonna, let's just say I wanna add uh, Lato or Lato Black. I'm gonna select it. So you can see it's selected here. The text uh, option is selected. So when, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to create a little text box right here. Now, if I wanted to, I could just actually type the, type the font, type the letters itself, but I've discovered it's not even necessary to do that. All you need to do is add a single space so I don't know if you can see that. Actually, let's zoom in a little bit. I'm just adding a single space or two spaces. So in this text box, there's nothing else except for space in Lato Black 36 point. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save this particular file and then I'm gonna close it. And then you can see this is the file right here. I'm gonna open up again. And then I'm going to go to file document properties, and let's see, check this out, Lato Black Embedded Subset, it is inside this file. This is kind of an unofficial workaround using Mac OS in the paid version of, the, of Adobe Acrobat Pro, but I've used this method for years, it works okay. Um, it's not the officially sanctioned way that Adobe wants you to operate, but it works for me, and I hope you can try it out too. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it, follow me, more uh, resources in the description and bio. Thank you so much for watching.